By the time Donald Trump headed into an Easter Sunday church service, it had already been a busy morning. He'd been tweeting that Mexico is doing little, if not nothing, at stopping people from flowing through that country and then into the U.S. Caravans of them, he wrote, as they laugh at our dumb immigration laws. Indeed, roughly a thousand migrants, most of them Honduran, are now moving together through Mexico, fleeing strife, hoping for asylum in the U.S. It's an annual event sponsored by a migrant support group. Trump tweeted, if Mexico fails to take action, he'll, quote, stop their cash cow, NAFTA, adding, no more DACA deal, referencing the controversial law that allows the children of undocumented migrants who'd come to the U.S. years ago to stay in the country. Earlier threats to kill DACA have led to widespread protests. Mexico has got to help us at the border. If they're not going to help us at the border, it's a very sad thing between two countries. And a lot of people are coming in because they want to take advantage of DACA. And we're going to have to really see. Worth noting, that's not exactly true. Protections under DACA are only for those who've been in the U.S. since at least 2007. None who'd enter now would qualify. They flow right through Mexico. They send them into the United States. Can't happen that way anymore. Thank you. Trump has threatened DACA before, but he's also suggested he'd be open to compromise on it. And it's unclear if Trump's now truly targeting NAFTA as well. Talks on rewriting the trade deal between Canada, Mexico and the U.S. have been underway for months. Random tweets or bona fide threats. His first tweet of the day was less contentious. Happy Easter, he wrote. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.